Okay, in this video we're just going to have a look at how we can update firmware on the DJI RC. So we're not actually going to need the drone in this video, so we're just going to switch on the controller and as we jump in we're just going to take a look at what firmware we're on and what we can update to and in this video I'm on outdated firmware so I know I can update it. Um, it generally you'll want to be doing your drone and remote sort of updates periodically so you know you'll want to have your remote fully up to date and the drone fully up to date and the batteries fully up to date and um, I'll leave a link on sort of how to do the other ones up in the corner but specifically in this we're just going to be looking at how to update the RC so I've just switched it on I haven't bothered putting the sticks on or anything because you know we're not going to fly it we're just going to jump into the profile and then under the profile sorry let me just bring the brightness down a bit there so you can just see the screen so in the profile you can see here I'm missing things like offline maps and that's what a lot of people ask me kind of why are things missing from mine why doesn't it look the same as other ones so what you can do is if you jump into settings if you come down to here in the bottom left you'll be able to see what firmware you're actually on it's got DJI fly and then it's the d-pad version of the app and what you'll be able to do is check for firmware updates and you can see here it says network connection required so to do this we're going to need to jump into the top menu switch on Wi-Fi and you might find it just comes up with that question mark so initially when you set up your remote you actually had to do this um, it, it may be that you're on a different Wi-Fi connection now so you can hit that cog up in the top corner sorry if you missed that um, so we basically come down the little cog right up in the top corner there if we just tap on that one and then come into network and internet it's just the same as using an android phone essentially jump into wi-fi you can see i'm connected on this network but if you need to re-authenticate a network you can just sort of jump in and do it all in here it's as simple as doing it on a phone like i say and then once you've got an active connection we can come back to here and we can do both of these so we can check for firmware updates and like I say, I can see we've got one here, so I can just hit update. And it's just going to take me to this screen. It's a fairly chunky update, 875 meg. We're going to hit download. I'm very likely going to speed up this bit of the video because it's just going to be a really long video of me downloading a file otherwise. And we'll jump back into it once the file's downloaded. Okay, and now the file's installed. It probably took a few minutes to install, uh, to sort of download it, sorry, not install. And now we're onto the installing process and you can kind of see here, we're onto, we're onto that. So, like I say, I mean, obviously all internet connections are different. Mine's a fairly quick internet connection, but it's taken a few minutes to, uh, to grab that download. And you can see up here, we've got the, um, the installation sequence is running on the controller so while this is happening don't touch it don't try and switch it off or press any of the controls just leave it you when we started this process it's obviously a good idea if you know the controller is sort of pretty well charged because you you don't want it switching off kind of mid installation or anything like that so yeah it's um again it's going to take a little bit of time just to install this it may reset itself so we're just going to kind of let it go now okay and now the controller is just sort of doing a reboot after that installation and you can see it's just running through and it's finishing up the the update now okay and now the controller is or should be doing a final reboot now so it should come back in and then it should open up as we normally have it just taking a bit of time just to start itself up these updates all won't always take quite this long I've done this on quite an out-of-date um, RC unit so it, it's had to periodically run through quite a, quite a lot of updates in this Okay, and you can see the final install has just gone in and then we're back in. So um, 
for this I'm just going to keep all of this switched on you know you're welcome to sort of look into this in more detail but and I'm just not going to enjoy uh, enjoy <laughs> join the um, improvement program for now uh, and then you can see if we jump back in so we've got the this update is fully done now so we're just back to the normal screen so now you can start touching the controls and doing things so we can jump back into our profile and you can see here we've actually got the offline maps feature which we're going to cover in another video um, I haven't done it yet but <laughs> I'll, I'll link it for, for the future so um, you can take a look at it but um, yeah we've got our offline maps there so um, what you potentially might have to do as well is log in again because it's logged me out but um, yeah that's that's kind of um, where it is if we jump down into settings you'll be able to see now as well here we've uh, got we've sort of updated there and if we check for firmware updates you can see your firmware is up to date so we've got the latest version of the uh, DJI Fly on the D-pad uh, app version of it so basically the RC version and in another video we'll do the fly safe database updates and the drone updates as well so if you want to check that out um, just uh, sub to the channel if this has been useful I'd appreciate it if you like the video and um, thanks for watching